Hi everyone, Michelle here from The Creative Cove. Thanks for joining me today. I wanted to jump on and show you a quick a tutorial on how to create tags and envelopes using your Procreate designs on your iPad. Um, so I'll walk you through quickly what I've been up to. Um, I've been doing a lot of pencil crayon drawings and I designed a, um, uh, what's it called, a farmhouse uh, flowers and farm collection calendar for 2022. And what I've done is I've used all my own drawings and had them printed. So here's the, what the calendar layout would look like. And then the drawings. So I'll just uh, flip you through a couple here because I wanted to show you how I take some of these drawings and turn them into paper. Uh, so the video today is going to be about the envelopes and accessories and uh, I wanted to show you how to use that on top of some paper that maybe you've designed already. So just flip through this really quick and you'll, you might recognize some of these drawings in the, the upcoming little video here on how I make my own little paper by using some of my drawings. So that is uh, the calendar there. And again, I, I just had them printed and turned into cards and things like that. So today I wanted to show you how I make these little envelopes by using my drawings. So I'm gonna go into Procreate here, and here we go. I'm gonna zoom you in a bit. So I scanned in basically my drawings, and I've manipulated them into uh, papers. So I have a few videos already on how I import some images and how I can manipulate them and then how I draw on top of them. So if you want to check those videos out and it will kind of show you how to design some papers. So uh, let me see here what we've done. I think we got to like something like this where this was one of the samples of drawing your own paper. Uh, so let's get back into the farmhouse collection. So here like this. So I've taken, say, the rooster, for example, and I've taken that image and cropped off some of the drawing itself. Let's just bring that back. Find the rooster again. So here he is. So this is the drawing. So this is, well, a copy of the drawing. So what I've done is I've cropped out bits and pieces and copied and manipulated them over and over again and added words and layering of letters and softened it up and things like that. So I've created my own little paper and then I print it just on sheets. So here's the sheep. She's called uh, Sophie. So here's the sheep and you can see I've done the wording just like I show you in the other videos. And uh, again, recycled some of the drawing itself in, and repost it just to build up my own kind of paper. So here's uh, Clementine the cow. And here's one which is a little bit more simplified. So it's just uh, bits and pieces of flowers with the writing. So, you know, this would make a really nice little journal page. And these are your drawings. You know, you draw whatever you want and import it into the Procreate program. And then you can manipulate it even more. So there you go, a little folded paper. And I did Priscilla. And then I did a, a large scale and I might be too zoomed in. This is a really big sheet, which I think I'll do a video on how I might use it for like a, a journal cover, if I can figure something out. So I printed those off as well. So again, creating your own collection of paper from your very own drawings. All right, so what I wanted to show today was how to uh, make these little tags. So I basically just took my drawings and I put a layout on how to use the tags. But what I realized is I've made more work for myself by making all this space negative space. I really didn't have to do that because I am just cutting along these lines. I literally just cut her out and fold her and glue her together and she becomes an envelope. So why I spent the time uh, erasing all the background, I don't know. So I thought, well, why bother doing that? Let's just show you a quick way on how to input the, um, the picture, the uh, uh, envelope layout. So what I do is I basically, I just go to my Google. I put in envelope, envelope template. I find one that I like. I press on it. 
I hit copy and I go back into my procreate which is here and I think what I'll do is I'll take something a little bit more simplified so we can see it a bit better so I did this um this raspberry drawing and uh, you can see again very primitive when you blow it up so you can see all the blending which I show you in other videos here's the raspberries close up so again it's it looks like painting and it's very simple and it's using all these different little splattering tools and incorporate words and you can go on and on. And what's nice is you can duplicate this page and elaborate it even more. So today though, I'm just going to show you how I put the envelope on top. So I'm going to hit the little toolbar and I'm going to hit paste and here it is. So I've imported this image and now I can manipulate it. So let's put this butterfly in there and there it is so what we can do now we'll deselect it so as you can see it sits on top of the the pinkish color so because these lines are dark enough all I have to do is hit my double squares here which is your layers and you can see all the layers it took to draw this I'm going to take this press on it and I'm going to move it below and I can still see the cutout lines, so I'm just going to leave it. It's that simple. Like, why why I spent all the time erasing, delicately erasing around the envelope just to print it, I don't know. <laughs> Lesson learned on that one. So let's do it again. So I've duplicated the image again. I'm going to make this one maybe have the butterfly kind of on an angle in the envelope. And all I have to do is pay attention to these lines here and make sure that they're inside this page because that's the line I'm going to cut. And unfortunately, my printer is not working right now, so I can't actually print these ones. I have the worst luck with printers. There we go. I'm going to deselect it. And because of where we were on the last layer, this one's already inserted the new layer underneath the raspberries. But you can see it would have pasted the same way had I had it above. And again, whole other paper right there. You don't even need the pink if you don't want it. So you can really, really play on this program. So there you have it, that simple. Just print it and cut out the lines. Now this one, I, I obviously, what I had done, let's go to this one, hit gallery, and we'll go back to my farmhouse collection here. So what I had done is I did the exact same thing on a paper, but I erased all this space. I just hit the eraser and erased it and went around, which was a total waste of time because all I'm doing is gonna cut out these black lines. So if this this writing and these images went outside those lines, it doesn't matter because they're getting cut. If that makes sense at all. It's just a much faster, easier way of getting your envelopes. And so I did this one, uh, I wanted to show you how you can take any any image of tags and lay it on top and do the same thing. Only this one, I did do the erasing. I took it off just to show you uh, that it can be done. It's just very time consuming. So let's say if you were gonna make your own digi kits and sell them, you would have to use your own drawings, obviously, and your own templates. Um, then I would probably take the time and make the negative space here so that you know your people who buy them from you can see exactly where they're gonna cut. And again, because of uh, the fact that you're laying paper, you can really start playing with with writing and uh, you could put the raspberry word down here or springtime or whatever you want. The possibilities are endless. So I just wanted to show you really that one simple way for your own collection, for your own personal journals. And what's really nice about this is this Procreate program is you can import people's uh, like people's faces and pictures and you can put uh, like a diary together of you know family and your history and where you come from and you can do the exact same thing I mean you can make you can turn them into very personal pieces of artwork which I love I think it's so much fun so let's just cut this one out really quick and I'll show you how fast it comes together and again anybody who watches my videos knows I don't cut straight so there you can see I went off the edge, but because this piece folds in, it doesn't even matter. Just gonna take my time maybe cutting around the top.
top end of the envelope so it looks neat and tidy. And so all those drawings and those quickie sketches that you might do with me, you can incorporate into this program and you can build a whole collection of papers. And how much fun is that? So I'm just gonna get this guy out of the way for a second. Oh, just take it and all I do is I, I roll it up, I fold it and roll it to that black line. And then I just fold. And do the same at the top. I find the black line, which is right here. And I fold. Same on the sides. Find that black line. Fold it. And same here. Fold. And then I'll just run some glue along the base here and just standard glue. And on the one that folds up, which is the wrong one. <laughs> it's this one. I had a 50-50 shot there. I fold the guys in and I fold this guy in. And just wait for this drive to dry a bit since I don't want it to close. And there we go. There's my little envelope. And it's, again, nice little charming little envelope where you can put all your goodies in. These are the tags. So I printed the tags and I just embellished. And what really nice little gift tags these make. Like so sweet. And they're personal. Nobody's going to have them because, again, they're uniquely your drawings. So hope that gave you some ideas today. And I hope it inspires you to give Procreate a try. Uh, this drawing program is so much fun. I hope to do some more videos on how to use it uh, once I learn more, because it is such an elaborate program that the possibilities are really just endless. And uh, again, using your own paper and your own designs and your own drawings. And here's the little horsey. This is Harriet the horse. And um, Priscilla the pig. So again, just manipulating that page over and over again. So the next video I'd like to uh, load is uh, maybe designing an actual journal around my pages. Just to show you that, you know, anybody can do it. Anybody can do, use their drawings. All right. So that's it for today. I hope you enjoyed it. Um, I hope, again, it gives you some ideas. And if you're really proud of your drawings, put them in a collection. What a great gift a calendar of your own work can make or your own very own cards. And uh, you put that kind of effort into some of your quickie sketches of my other videos and uh, you might just amaze yourself at what you can accomplish. All right, guys, I hope you have a great day. Bye.